welcome to HY Tech channel. Today we're gonna review 3 casing for the OnePlus 8 Pro. They are the official OnePlus 8 Pro Sandstone bumper case, the Unicorn Beetle OnePlus 8 Pro by Subcase, and the third one is the Liquid Air Armor by Spigen. So firstly, we're gonna take a look at the official OnePlus 8 Pro Sandstone bumper case. As for the texture feeling, it feels very rough. As you expected from the name, the texture do feels like a sandpaper. However, after using it for a long time, the texture will become smoother eventually. Let's take a look for a 360 degree views. So at the back, we got the OnePlus logo, which is a big point for some people. As you can see from the inside, it has a design by OnePlus engraved in it. Just a simple texture inside, no any protective layers or whatsoever. So let's put in the phone and see how it looks. So from the top, we can see there is a hole for EMP sound and there are two pumps for edge protection. From the right side, we can see the cutout for the alert slider and power button soft touch placement. Next to the bottom, Here's the cutout for the speaker, USB-C and SIM ejector hole. A very precise and good quality cutout. And here's the volume rocker soft touch placement. Overall, we can see there is a chamfered edge pattern around the frame. This can give more grips alongside the sandstone texture on the casing body. As for protection, it got some lips to protect the front screen, but just barely enough to protect the front screen. This case is also a screen protector friendly. The case is, the case is quite thin but it's hard and strong. The downside for this case is the texture may not please everyone. It is very rough on hand. It's like holding a phone with sandpaper wrapped around it. Also, the back camera bump protection is not that good. The frame is just barely same level with the camera bump. For me, this case is suitable for those who want thin casing with low profile design, but at the same time having good enough protection for the phone and not to forget the OnePlus logo.
Next was secondly, the unicorn beetle casing by Subkiss. It's a clear back case with a thick frame around it. Let's see the 360 view first. Let's put in the phone and see how it looks. From the top, it got the cut out for the hole. At the right side, it has large cut out for the alert slider. This is the largest cutout for the alert slider out of the three casing, and also the power button placement. It is a hard button and not a soft touch type, and the button feels tactile. It is also have the hole for wrist strap or lanyard. At the bottom, again, good quality cutout for the USB-C SIM tray hole and speaker. At the left, we can see the volume rocker button placement, it feels tactile too. At the back, we can see there is a protection for the back camera bump. It is quite elevated and this can provide good camera bump protection. The clear part for the case is very hard. And as this case is clear, it can show your phone color, skins, if you are using one and most importantly, the OnePlus logo. For the front protection, it has thick lips which are very excellent for front screen protection. This case is also a screen protector friendly as I, I have no problem with my pre-installed screen protector. Overall, the frame of this casing is very strong. The frame has rubberish texture for provide decent grip to the phone. The downside for this casing is the back part is the fingerprint magnet. Besides that, it is quite bulky and the frame just does not provide good grip compared to the other three casings, at least to my hand and your mileage may vary. Also, it is quite hard to reach the alert slider as the frame is too thick and the slider is quite deep to reach.
for me i think this case is suitable for those who seek for good phone phone protection as this case is very strong and thick but at the same time want to show off your aesthetic back panel colors or skin now let's move on to the third case which is the liquid air armor by Spigen. It's an elastic casing with air cushion technology as claimed by Spigen itself. Quite soft actually but with a quite thick frame. Let's take a look for the 360 degree view first. From the inside, we can see some pattern which I assume part of the air cushion technology. As usual, with all Spigen case, we got the Spigen seal inside with made in South Korea label inside. From the back, it got a repetitive triangular pattern which can provide good grip to the keys. Let's put in the phone and see how it looks. From the top, we can see the cutout for the hole. As for the right, we can see the cutout for the alert slider and it is easy to access the alert slider compared to the subcase just now. It has power button placement with soft touch, feels good in the hand. At the sides of this casing, it got, it got this 45 degree angle lines which can provide good grip to this case. Both sides of the casing has these lines. At the bottom, it has precise cutout for speaker, USB-C and the SIM ejector hole. At the left, same as the other side, it has the 45 degree angle lines for maximum grip and volume rocker button placement with soft touch type. The front lips is quite thick, less than the subcase but better than the sandstone bumper case lips.
It is also have the guard protection for the camera bump at the back. The guard bumper is quite tall and it gives full protection to the camera bump. A big bonus point for this case. Overall, this casing has a good grip with good protection to the whole body of the phone. The drawback for this casing is because of the tall camera bumper guard at the back, it will wob wobble if you put it in the flat surface. This does not happen to the other two cases. Besides that, the back panel of this case is fully solid covered, so you can show the color of your phone and of course no OnePlus logo visible. For me, this casing is suitable for anyone who needs protection for the phone without having a bulky size casing, a good grip and excellent camera bump protection. So which one is your choice? As for me, I will choose the Liquid Air Armor by Spigen as this is the most comfortable case I ever use. Maybe that's just me. How about you? Do comment on this video and feel free to ask any question regarding these cases. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.